Hello. The important part from this video is to recognize that this is powers of products and quotients, uh, which is different, different in the language than the other videos. And for example, uh, multiplying powers with the same base, that's something discussed before power of a power and later on exponent zero and negative exponent so what we need to uh, explain here uh, first uh, it's good to recognize that there is a theorem here and sometimes there is a definition or something else so it's better uh, if there is a theorem to state it because a theorem is something that is proven to be working or a fact within how it's defined um, so if you have let's say uh, let's use a and b if a and b uh, are numbers and I'm going to use let's say n for the uh, exponent so if n also is a number so we could say if a b and n are numbers it's just uh, to show uh, here a distinction then uh, a times b power n here is as you see this is a power of a product the product is a times b this is here to mention that this is a product and here it's a power so that's um, which makes it different than multiplying um, um, with the same base as mentioned in the other video so what will happen here is it will to avoid the confusion with the binomial square for example or cubed or to power n uh, let's show the, the theorem states that a power n times b power n all right and for the cushion if you have this one usually doesn't get confused as the first one um, it it becomes a power n over b power n. all right um, so before i give some examples it's worth to mention the confusion that happens with uh, let's say binomial square example a times b square based on this theorem it's a square times b square however if i have an operator let's say addition in between then this does not become a square plus b square right uh, it is not correct to do that because as you see the theorem is correct the way it comes uh, so it can't be extended to this so let's uh, show what happens to a plus b, for example, squared. Uh, by definition, this is a plus b times a plus b. That's twice, which if we FOIL, we get a squared. So FOIL, um, a squared and ab and ba or ab and b square so that leads to a square plus 2ab plus b square you see uh, the assumption tells this but you're missing this term here in the middle so this gives us when we talk about the theorem it's always good to explain it in uh, in the way it comes which means it's specifics and not to generalize the theorem uh, 
over certain other ideas that usually um, may lead to wrong uh, answer or conclusion. All right, so uh, let's do some examples. Uh, if I have x, y to the four year, then it's just now we know what we need to do. If I have two x, let's say squared, then we know same thing is two squared and x squared, so four x squared. And if I have uh, a over b, let's say cubed, then it's a cubed over b cubed. As you see here, we're not doing, you see um, in the previous video I spoke about uh, the division, but there you have the uh, same base. Here we don't have that. So here we cannot do something like, is it 3 minus 3? Then where is B, right? Um, so logically you can see that you can't apply the other rule to this. Um, well, if a few things get mixed, let's say 2A and, and B here or 3 here, for example, and let's say uh, uh, cubed, then this is 2A cubed and 3B cubed. You see it kind of splits in stages. Uh, then this is 2 cubed and A cubed, and this is 3 cubed, and this is B cubed. All right. Um, then uh, we can just continue, right? Um, kind of you get the idea of uh, having 8 uh, and A cubed, and this... Um, 3 times 3 times 3, 27 b cubed. Then you can always examine whether uh, the 8 and 27, they don't kind of simplify, but that's it. So it's worth now to put together all the rules when it comes to the powers and exponents and understand them and not to confuse between uh, if I have x squared times x cubed, then now we know that it's, it should be x um, to the fifth power here because you're adding and you have same base. But if you have x squared to cube, that's a power to a power, so x to the sixth and so forth, right? So it's important to put all together uh, so you, you, you understand the main difference, but if you're, of course, teaching this, then you want to uh, mention the details, uh, for example, powers of products, powers of quotients, um, and so forth. Thank you.